after a nightmare 7-1 defeat in their opening game of the Continental Cup against Yunos Minsk, the Steelers are looking to bounce back against the Danish hosts tonight. Rungsted also lost their opening game last night 8-4 to the Latvian side Kerbads Riga and with two clubs set to advance to the final in January, Sheffield still have a strong chance of progressing to the next round. Jantin and Wallace working to get the puck back on the far side. But Rungsted break and there's a for a moment there is a three on two. Skates in front and shot there, Mustikovs and the second opportunity and that's going to be the opening goal of this no, game. No, he's waved off. Goal is waved off. Look at the linesman, the back linesman waved it off and I think Arson is it Arson got a stick in the face just before that and the uh, the one goalie, the one referee, now they're hugging the two referees. That's not good it is see. indeed, just looking at the replay Arson goes up and gets a stick in the face just before Marcus Nielsen slotted past the left into the uh, left hand side of uh, Irvin Smustakov. So the goal wa waved oh, off. Well, hold on a second. I wouldn't hold your breath now. One saying yes, one saying no. We'll wait and see. Have a bit oh, of they've given the goal. They have given the goal. They've given the goal. The one referee said no. The one referee said yes. The referee has gone over to speak to Paul Thompson. Paul Thompson absolutely livid. Yeah, best please, is it? Clearly gesticulating about the uh, high stick on Arson. 15 seconds left on this kill. Yantin has just got the call that when you come out of the box, you go straight to the bench. Um. As the puck was sent forward there, Jonathan Phillips was the man chasing. We saw what a great job he did on the penalty kill yesterday. Just relentless as he puts a hit there you know, on Rombert. Here yeah. comes Hansen. Hansen with a shot there. Bad save from back. Bad save from Mustakos and the rebound comes out. And it's number 15, Nikolai Rosenthal. That just puts it into an empty net. Moose committed on his left hand side. And slots home into an empty net. 2-0. Well, you know what? Moose gives up the rebounds at home. They don't fall to players like that. But we saw yesterday and we've seen tonight, do you give up a rebound like that, you're going to get punished for it. Matthias Persson back on the ice, his unit to get something going in the big frame of Matt Marquois surging forward now trying to free something Bertram Yellett is the player back great play by Westerling hurrying hurrying and hassling and, and gives Jonathan Phillips a chance and he's still looking at him here now great pressure from Jonas Westerling on Yellett just trying to free the puck and Paul Thompson had talked in the team meetings about being aggressive on the forecheck, Rosenthal comes forward now, looking for the... Oh, oh, that's the third goal. It was sent forward, Rosenthal, and deflected home by Jake Hansen. Just stuck his stick out, just trying to get any kind of deflection on it, and it flies into the top left-hand corner of Irvin Smustakov's net. Well, that just sums up your whole weekend. You dominate, you dominate, you dominate. There's a breakaway. Well, not a breakaway. A an aimless pass. An outstretch deflect deflection right above the glove of uh, Mushtikov Moose could do nothing about that one nothing about that one pass across the defensive line to Matheson Matheson skates forward he's got to go to his right hand side it's a bit congested on the left and eventually Matheson tries to thread it through the defenseman's legs doesn't quite get the contact that he wants if you, could just play if you could just play Matheson at centre, wing and defence all at the same time, you'd be fine. And skating in here is Westerling trying to make something happen. Again, trying to walk the puck in. Jonas Westerling trying to get something going on the forecheck. And a fan there. And the Steelers might have an opportunity if they can pull the trigger. Marquardt! And shot down there from Linscork. And Matt Marquardt, the latest Steeler to have an opportunity out in front. And we're going to have a penalty here. And it's going to be Marquardt. It's going to be for a little hook, I think. No, it's a slash. It is a slash indeed. On the back check after Marquardt had taken the shot. At least he took the shot. Um, he took the shot. The rebound came. He flicked to the other way. And as Rumstead broke, Marquardt was on the back check. Just waiting for that pass. Rosenthal sends it forward towards Hansen. And the Steelers have an opportunity for Jonathan Phillips. He's got Westerling in support out in front. He's behind the net, Jonathan Phillips. Can he pick out a man? Gets it now to Ben O'Connor. O'Connor with no angle at all lets one go, but at least he had a go. Scott Arson. You know when you, you're the sitting in the fan, you, you watch a game and on the power play normally it happens, and the fan shout, shoot, 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 
And I'm always, I'm always like, not happy when the fans do that. But I tell you what, right now I'm joining them and saying shoot, 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 because you, we Mark. are playing so well. And a three down because we're frightened to shoot the damn thing. And Mark, while back on the ice, have an opportunity skating north to south, trying to get it out in front. And that's the opening goal for the Sheffield Steelers. It's been given out in front. Marquardt it was that was driving to the net. And they embrace in front of the crease. And that, you can see what that means to them. Well, it's all about What a Marquardt. finish from Nevi Nelson it's there. It's all about Marquardt. He took the puck to the net. He took it to the dirty area. I think he was a bit rattled after that penalty. He came out. Elbows the guy out of the way. Muscles himself. Uses that big body. That big presence. And that is not... Runster just had a power play and got out chance 4 to 1. Great spell for the Steelers. And as you said, they've just got to make it count at the they moment. They have to keep that momentum and, and feed off it. Near Westerling in the face off, so if it comes back on a run side, here it is with Nash on the blue line. Shot comes in and he breaks the stick in the process of taking the shot, and a weak shot in the end finds its way through to Matheson. Now to Phillips. Phillips gets it into open ice to Marquise. It's a 2 on 1 for the Steelers. Westerling is the man at the back door and he scores! Steelers have cut the deficit, having been three goals down. They claw it back to 3-2. Jonas Westerling, Johnny on the spot in the crease. Mark it was skating in. It was a two-on-one for the Sheffield Steelers. Squared it and put it on a plate for Westerling. And it's the Sheffield Steelers two, Rungstead three. Matt Marquardt has made the difference in the second period. After that penalty, he comes out of the box, he goes to the dirty areas. He's taken, remember at the start of the show, we said, who's going to say, climb on my back? Matt Marquardt has been the person who's done that. Valdix now has it behind the net as they, six minutes remaining in this second period, trying to make something happen, trying to even the score and get back on level terms. Valdix has it. Nelson lets one go, it's wide of the net. Arson. Tries to regather at the half boards, gets it back to Nelson, who's taken up the position just inside the blue line. Fitzgerald. The Steelers holding it in the zone, it working it in it front to Nelson. Nelson. Nelson couldn't turn 180, had his back to goal. Arson has it now, cross size. Here is Dowd! And I! What a goal from Robert Dowd! Two and two for Robert Dowd! And in the space of 15 minutes, the Sheffield Steelers have turned it round. It's 3 3. Dowdy goes short side, top of the circle, defenseman got a change, one of the uh, Rungstick defensemen got hurt, made his way to the bench, gave Dowdy some room, he shoots and scores, goes block aside, goes near side and I think we're going to have timeout Rungstead. They've been hit by a train in the second period. We go again, two on one, Armstrong, Armstrong and two Wah. on one, he's got Wah, Matthew Wah with a chance out in front. It was just on the wrong side really. Here it is with O'Connor, sent forward. Does it get it cleanly and the Steelers have an opportunity and Armstrong's brought down. Is that going to be a penalty? We wait for the call. I think while he's saying to Armstrong he crossed the line but the referee's having none of that. Rungstead come forward again. Fretter cleans up at the back. It's off the backboards and through to Romberg. What a great addition he's been to have back in. And Olsen skates in, a loose puck there, and the Steelers might be in trouble here. Oh, and it's come off the crossbar. And a let off for the Sheffield Steelers, and about time they had a bit of luck in this game. 21 seconds left. The Steelers would be delighted to get out of this period with a 3 3 scoreline. As they come forward now, here it is with Yam Team. What a little spark plug he is as well, but here come Rungstead, and the Steelers have to be careful here with 10 seconds remaining. It's a two on one at the back, and there is the goal. Rungstead score with five seconds remaining in that period. And I think it's Jacob Hansen who's got the goal. Bad line change. Westling was making his way off the ice. And it's Robin, Robin Berman who's got the goal. Of course, the former Coventry Blaze player and looking to make a statement in this game against a... It was a long shift though, it was a long shift. Yamteen goes in hard on Olsen, trying to win it back. Comes back to the end boards, Matheson. Cuts back inside just to give himself a little bit more room, a little bit more time. Rosenthal comes on the forecheck. Dowd to Nelson at centre ice. Back to Dowd. Just interrupted there when he's about to pull the trigger. O'Connor just wide. Agonisingly wide from Ben O'Connor. He was trying well, he to go top glove. shelf. I think he got he went top shelf. I think the top of the glove just caught it, Pete. What a chance there from Ben O'Connor. Another chance here for Robert Dowd. O'Connor out in front of Valdix. Nelson. Oh! Equalising goal from Levi Nelson. 
That's two goals for him tonight. And the Steelers are on level terms with 5.58 to go. It's Steelers 4, Rungstead 4. Tick, tack, toe. Levi Nelson shoots and scores. And that's why Paul Thompson was throwing that second line out there. Wills inside for the shot. Hansen. As it opens up for him. Good save by Mustakos. Another Atta great boy double. Moves. Great double save there for Mustakos. Well, it's the he challenged, shot. didn't he? He challenged. He came out. He says, come on, shoot it at me. And he did. So 28 seconds remaining on this Steelers penalty kill. John Armstrong sitting in the box at the moment. Two minutes for tripping. Three minutes remaining in the game. Four, three. Four, four. Three four, minutes four. to go. Do the Steelers have a winner in them with 10 seconds remaining? Matheson just looking for anyone. There's no one crashing the net at the moment. Matheson flicks it back out in front, and if they had crashed the net, it would have found him. Freta oh, almost gives up a chance right at the end there for Pearson as he was through on goal. Well, and it finishes after three periods. Sheffield Steelers four, Rungstead four, Dave Sims. Wow, well, a point. Now let's go and get the second point. Here is Robin Bergman. Takes it to the right hand side. Will's in now. Tries to. Oh, I could Moose say there from Moose. Marquard takes a long run up. Tic tac toe. Sends it. And he oh! scores! Matt Marquard! What a goal from the Sheffield Steelers. What a player. finish! Excellent. Matt Marquard, as we just have a look on the instant replay. Fantastic. Skates in from the right hand side. Just opens up his body. And he goes. Over the blocker side. Hello. And there we go. Rungstead with their opportunity at the. And that's missed. Well wide from Morton Jensen. Here is Westerling. Tic tac toe. Comes in. And he, oh, he has got it! Ho oh, oh no, we can't. It's five penalty shots, not three. I thought it was three. Oh. You were at the meeting, Dave. I was at the meeting. I know what's going on. Westerling. What a finish that was. That was skilled as they come. Takes in now. Pearson. Comes in from the right hand side, opens up, puts a great oh and Moose saves, denies him down low. Have a drop of that. Pearson, great stick handling as he came out in front of Moose and just denies him. So actually now Freta can win it, can't he? He went forehand, backhand, forehand, backhand again. Sheffield 2 0 up, skates to the left hand side, right handed shot, puts the move and Ooh. it just goes wide. He tried to go backhanded on the blocker side, he just couldn't lift it up and it went wide. Skates in now. Rungstead, it's Hansen, right in front, straight north to south, and Moose has made the save, and the Sheffield Steelers have won the game. The players pile onto the ice, and anyone would think it's a playoff final the way they're celebrating at the moment. They all pile on, and it's handshakes all round, taps on the helmet for Irvin Spustikovs, and the Sheffield Steelers have won this game by five goals to four. Matthew, it might be your first year with the Sheffield Steelers, but you've quickly bought into you never make it easy for us. The whole night was a roller coaster, wasn't it? Absolutely, uh, but that's why uh, it's a 60 minute uh, game and in tournament play, anything could happen. Well, just like any, any game, but in tournaments especially. And, uh, you know, we we're able to kind of turn the tide there. I don't think, uh, you know, certain uh, intangibles didn't go our way, let's say. And, um, you know, we, we all collectively stuck with it. You know, like I said, a 60 minute game. We all stuck with it, we all, you know, put our heads down and pounded the rock and went to the net. We were able to, you know, convert on a couple uh, net drives and then Dowdy's got the hot stick. He's been hitting the net, putting it in. And, uh, you know, we got a late goal to tie it there. Levy got, got, a, got a nice one to tie it up. And then, uh, you know, we were able to come away with it in the, in the shootout. Was it a little bit of deja vu at the end of the first period? You had played so well, you'd almost battered them. But you were two down, like last night you were three down. Yeah, we, uh, we haven't had the puck luck uh, this tournament so far, um, as we've seen. But, uh, you know, like I said, it's just a matter of keep on, uh, we just got to keep on going, keep pounding that rock and play hard, smart and together. And I think that's what we did. Uh, we battled for 60 minutes. It took 65. We still didn't get it done after 65. But uh, then we were able to, you know, Wesley got a great goal in the shootout. Moose was awesome. Yeah. Talk us through the goals, though. Goal one, great play for you to get it to Levi. And, just, that, and we needed that to get it going, didn't we? Yeah, I just like I kind of felt bad there for taking a penalty. I don't think I deserved it. He gave me a slash. Just the puck was in the guy's equipment, and I tried to hack at the puck. But, anyways, uh, you know, I kind of felt bad there. The penalty kills done a great job for us, and uh, all season long. And uh, I came out of the box there, and uh, you know, saw an, op saw an opportunity to drive that net. And you know, when you go to the net, good things happen. And 
Levi, uh, Levi went hard to the net too and cashed in. And what about Jonas? How hard did he work to catch oh, you up man. on that second goal and, and get into a position he had no right to get into? Yeah, he worked so hard and, uh, you know, he's, he's had a tough time there battling through injuries and things like that. And, uh, you know, he worked really hard to get back and, and uh, he played an excellent game tonight. And, uh, you know, he's a, he's a great player to play with. He's always uh, moving his feet as fast as he can. Uh, you know, puck got chipped to me and I just threw it wide. He went right to the back door and he made me look good on that one because the puck was kind of wobbly and he made a great play to put it in. We go to the shootout. When do you know you're taking a shot and when do you know you're taking the first one? Uh, Tomo. I came to the bench at the end of the, the overtime and I hit the post in overtime and kind of had some bad luck there and Tomo said, Tomo said, hey, you're going first. And uh, that's, that's about it. It was a great move, wasn't it? Thank you. Yeah, uh, just tried to fake him and uh, get him to freeze and go uh, go across the crease and put it in. And uh, you know, yeah, Jonas did the same thing, and then Moose stood on his head, like I said. I was going to say Moose had a tough night last night by his own admission. Well, boy, did he ever step up here in the shootout? Yeah, he's a world class goaltender, and uh, he doesn't have too many games he'd want back. You know, because he always plays so solid. And uh, you know, I think. Uh, that seven one. I don't think that game was seven one last night. There was a lot of uh, you know some some pucks that had bounced out and kind of squeaked out the side, uh, you know little tap ins and things like that. But uh, you know he battled back and had a had a great effort for us tonight. Okay, top job. They're cheering your name back there. I'll speak to you later. Thank you very much. You and I spoke at the end of the first period, and you said, God, how many chances do we need? And but once that first goal came, it, it changed the whole momentum of the night, didn't it? Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. I can't believe in two games we've been three 0 down and. We've had the better opportunities, but you know our final passes on the two-on-ones, the three-on-ones, it's not good enough. Chance after chance after chance. But I thought Valdex's line and uh, and Westerling's line dragged us all the way back into this hockey game today. Marquard was excellent, Westerling was excellent, Jono was excellent, and I thought Dowdy and Levi and Valley were on fire today and. Uh, and they dragged us through. We need more out of 77's line tomorrow if we're going to want success, because they didn't bring it tonight. And uh, Armstrong's line created a lot. I mean, Johnny had some good opportunities tonight, and it didn't happen. But uh, I thought it was a great character win. You know, you're against the home team, the host team, 3 0 down. We brought it all the way back. Five seconds to go at the end of the second period. We don't get a puck deep. They come back 4 3. So the emotions are up there. Then there's another bump in the road. And, Levi scores the game tire. You know, our big players are turning up when it matters again. And uh, how many times has he done that for us over his time? And, uh, and then, you know, come to penalty shots. I just picked, I said, Max, you got one? Westy, you got one? Fretz, you got one? Downey, you got one? I was going with the guys that I thought were hot and confident. And uh, I've just, I mean, we got a 22 second power play at the end of the game, four on three. And I, I, I'm just astounded. And I'm, I'm waiting to see the uh, supervisor today because I'd like his explanation on stuff. Yeah. Your kill was phenomenal, wasn't it? And in fact, in the second and third period, your kill created more chances than Runcid's power play. And that's where a lot of the momentum came from. It's just our last pass. You know. It's just got to be better. The game would have been dead and buried. You know, they get a two-on-one, they execute on it. We don't even make the play. And that's what I'm annoyed at. But I'm not annoyed with our team character. I'm not annoyed with the fact that we, you know, we clawed ourselves back. And, I mean, we outshot them something like 20 to 6 in, 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 in the second period. And, and I don't think we've had as many good a chances all year as we've had in that period. But guys have got to bear down. The good news is you've got a whole 12 hours to prepare for the next game against Riga. And I guess that preparation starts now. Yeah, yeah, no, we've got to go. We've got to get them fed, finish with the media guys, get the guys uh, rehydrated again. And we go again. It's, it's an rigor ahead of a team. So I think we need a regulation win to, to guarantee to get through to the final. But uh, great character tonight. But I want to get the boys home to bed now.